Welcome back to Pray TV. Very glad that you're with us. We are here to be able to enter into another one of our programs during our week of prayer and fasting. We've been doing a lot of fasting and a lot of praying and God is faithful and there's a whole community of people that are here in Boston at Lion of Judah that are praying and interceding. Charlotte is with me. Charlotte, would you greet our folk? We're just happy to be with you again today. This has been a time of pressing into the Lord, a special time set apart. Many people do this in the beginning of their year, and of course we're into a new decade, 2020. But even for those of you who can't fast or set aside as much time as you would like to be, we can still be really focusing in on the Lord and what He would speak to us today. And we are going to take the prayer that Jesus prayed. He prayed it over his disciples, but he prayed it over you and he prayed it over me because we are the disciples in this era and in this time. And so it's from John chapter 17 and we're looking at it today in the New King James Version of the Bible. And it says, but now I come to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. Charlotte, would you just take us into a little bit more understanding of this particular portion of Scripture? I was thinking, Brand, as you read that, that we truly are sanctified. We are made pure. We are cleansed by the Word. The Bible talks about the washing of the Word and how important it is that we are really taking the Word of God to heart. It is our truth. It is our anchor. Jesus said right in this passage that he has given us his word and that we would be sanctified and we would be made holy, a progressive sanctification. I, we don't believe in an instant sanctification, but that it is a progressive process in our lives throughout our life's journey. But it is so important that we are spending time in the word of God it is the Word of God that will hold as the anchor of truth. And so we just encourage you today to really kind of do a, an inventory. Let's each do a self-inventory as we are entering this new year. Are we really taking heed to the Word of God? Are we allowing it to cleanse us daily? The Word is purifying and we we do not want to adjust the Word to our life and times. The Word of God, God says He honors His Word above His name. I mean, it is the highest order of the universe. And as we look into the Word of God, we must alter our lives into the correct perspective based on what the Word of God teaches and what the Word of God tells us. We believe that the Word of God is ultimately His voice into our lives. And so we treasure the Word, we stand on the Word, we find the Word, as Charlotte said, that purifying element for our lives, but that stabilizing element as well. So we're looking at it one more time from John 17, verses 13 through 18. Take this into your soul, 
Let it be something relevant to your heart because God intends for you to be able to treasure this word and to walk in it. It says, But now I come to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word. And the world has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth, as you send me into the world, I have sent them into the world. We're going to just pray, and I ask you, Charlotte, would you just begin our time off prayer? Lord, we want to take to heart today this prayer that you prayed for us, that we are sent, Lord. You have a destiny for us to fulfill. In this world, Lord, where we're not just aimlessly wandering about. And Father, I just pray that we would press into you. And Lord, you have given us your word. You have equipped us with truth, Lord, in a time when truth is so relevant and everybody makes up their own truth, God. We just ask, Lord, that we would revere your word as you revere it above even your name. And God, that we would hold steady, we would hold fast to the truth, Lord, because it is the truth that sets us free, and it is the truth of your word that makes the difference in other people's lives, Lord. It is not our clever words of men, Lord. It is the truth of your word that pierces God, dividing even the bone from the marrow. And so, Lord, we just cling to you today. We thank you for your word. We pray that this year we would honor your word, Lord, as, as never before. And God, we would stand upon it and we would see it have a tremendous effect, not only in our own lives, but in the lives of all we touch. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And Lord, we just ask that you would sanctify us with your word. Your word is true. Lord, I pray that every man, every woman, every child who is joining us in prayer, who is waiting upon you, who is pressing into you in these moments, who is starting their day for many of you on the other side of the earth, Lord, that we would be walking in your word, that we would be declaring your word, that you would make faith arise in our souls because it's out of the fertility of this ground of your word that everything good springs forth. Lord, I thank you for the plumb line. I thank you for the accuracy of your word. And I thank you, Lord, for this measuring line that you're sending out into all of the earth. We declare your name and we declare your word. And we pray, Lord, that you will come into every one of our lives, setting us on fire with your purposey. Lord, you have set a purpose in every soul. You have set a destiny before the foundations of the earth for every one of us. And Lord, we pray that we would walk in it this day. Amen and amen. May God bless you as you continue to pray and press into him.